you know, our, I guess, unprecedented 12th suspension from YouTube. Um, I'm sure there's other channels that are, have probably had more than, than that, but, um, Hey, you know, we're, we're fighting it out. We're fighting it out. We're still creeping through the algorithms. Um, we're still building, we're still growing regardless of the 12 suspensions that we've gotten. Um, pretty much all of them have been ridiculous. They've been, uh, political nonsense. And, um, you know, pretty much this one kind of pisses me off because if you really look at what's going on here, we did a video. We're Americans. You know, I pay my taxes. Yet, talking about the border crisis, talking about this thing called replacement theory, which I called it replacement fact, which is what I think uh, got us pulled off, um, got us a strike on, uh, on YouTube. Um, point is, is that it's something that's absolutely happening. You know, we're, we're seeing it, uh, you know, just all the, the videos that are coming out from, from El Paso and the border and all that stuff. It's just at this point, it's almost overwhelming at what we're seeing. And, and the fact is that you can't speak about this in your own country. You're not allowed to speak about this, about being invaded at our southern border. As an American, you're not allowed to speak about this. This is, this is, this is what, I mean, listen, people can go, oh, well, it's YouTube. They're allowed to do what they want. Fuck that. Fuck that. Tell me in what way is speaking about the southern border in any way, uh, as an American giving a criticism or any of that, tell me how that's, how can that be deemed hate speech? Again, as an American speaking about the sanctity and the security of our country and criticizing the job that's being done, look at what we're seeing right here. I'm showing you on the screen. This is out. This is, this is America. Well, this is a different, uh, well, they're running towards the, uh, the border anyway. Um, yeah, we're, uh, we're not allowed to criticize that or it's hate speech. They've now taken what we did, which has had an honest conversation. Actually, one of the few times that we had somewhat of a normal conversation where we didn't really go uh, off on any kind of like, you know, joking or anything like that. Because honestly, I don't find too much of this to be funny. I don't really find a funny angle on this. Um, so for us to, to have that conversation and any of it to be any of it uh, be deemed hate speech. Is uh, is a fucking shame. It's a shame. And it's really uh, disheartening. Um, you know, it's th just the fact that you're, you, it, it's being deemed hate speech from anybody in this country. I'm almost not even, I don't want to say I'm not angry. Um, I almost just like, it, it's almost like I'm at the point of like, all right, just whatever you're going to do. If you're going to pull me off, then, then fuck it. Do it. What am I going to do? I'm not on the level where I can, you know, summon some fucking lawyer or, 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 or you know, an entertainment lawyer or anybody that can uh, talk to YouTube. And honestly, I'm just not going to stress it. I'm not going to stress it. It is what it is. Um, I already proven to myself that I can build a fan base um, that people want to hear my ideas at least, or want to hear me talk, hear my group talk, hear my show, my idea of a show. And, you know, that's something they can never take away from me. Maybe I'll start, uh, you know, actually start the, the, the website and, uh, do this just off of the grid because I still enjoy it. I still enjoy the whole, the whole deal. 
But the fact is, is that, um, you know, and, and I just, I honestly, I don't even have any passion in it to even make this argument anymore. It's just, uh, YouTube is, is not a free speech zone. America is no longer America. We've lost America. Um, I don't think, um, and I'm not, uh, by the way, I'm not conflating the two things of where I lo- I'm losing my YouTube channel and I'm, I'm turning it into, we've, lo- we're lo- we're losing America because I lost my YouTube. No, no. Just look at the videos. Look at what's going on at the Southern border. And the fact is that as an American taxpaying citizen, if you speak against it and you speak against just letting people flow into this fucking country, you're uh you're you're a purveyor of hate speech. That's where we're at. That's where we're at in this country. Um so, you know, I mean, I, I'm going to continue doing what I do. You guys know the deal. It's a two-week suspension. Unless they pull, you know, I'm on my second strike, so if we get another strike, it's pretty much fucking over. Um, so, at this point, it's just ride it to the wheels fall off. The Misfit Nation brand is what it is. Uh, it, will, it will never change. Um, and uh, I don't know what to say. I honestly don't know what to say. Just know that we do not have the country that we think we have anymore. It's fucking over. It is fucking over. Um, I saw something, uh, some numbers where they were saying that uh, the, the when it comes to the illegals that are in this country, we've surpassed 11 million just based on what's going on in the past few years. And we're we're getting actually closer to i think the number is 20 22 23 million or something like that illegals in this country so at some point um none of it is going to matter at some point uh i i i think because of everything we're seeing here 2028 the election of 2028 is going to be irrelevant people are not even going to give a fuck about it it's not even going to be a real election. It's not going to be uh uh it's just not going to mean anything. Voting is not going to mean anything by 2028. I guarantee it. Um and you know, you look at you look at like for instance, I saw a, a video, I'll sh- I'll show it if I have it here. Um I should. Where they're giving people uh court dates these illegals uh, court dates that are in like 2028. They're like, yeah, just show up in, in fucking, you know, six years or five years. And it'll be, uh, and to think that any of these people are going to actually show up to any of these fucking court hearings is insane. Again, if we even have a country at that point, 